Hello guys and welcome to another AE2 tutorial video. Today we'll be talking about storage with AE2 and how to manage it. And we'll have we'll do that with help from upgrade cards, equal distribution card and overflow destruction card. They have not always been around, so check your mod version uh, if you can't find it. But this is in 119, so from now on it should hopefully be fine and stay in there. And uh, before I'll demonstrate them, I want to show you a setup and its flaws and why it would be good to use these cards instead. So let's uh, take cobblestone as an example, something that you will have a lot of normally and we don't want it to overfill our drives and cells or system so let's say that we want to have them in only one drive like or cell sorry we format the cell like this and we put it in and from now on the uh, cobblestone will end up in this one. Simple enough, but let's say that we fill this 1k with 8000 something and that means that we'll start to fill next one. And that's where the card comes in, but I, I want to show you the another system first. Here I have a storage bus which I have configured for cobblestone, so this means that I want to store all my cobblestone externally, not in that drive, but in something else. Interface will receive it and we'll store it in here. Okay, our stacks are in here, 192, and now when I throw in more cobblestone, they will end up in here. And we'll take them out and in and everything works perfectly. But when it's full, um, we have nowhere to put it. And that's why I put this formation plane. Uh, we filter it and then we can drop them as items. And now let's say that we remove this one and take one that's full. I have one here. And I don't want any upgrades yet. Okay, it's full. And we can see it here. Everything works fine. And now when we place a stack in here, it was dropped. You had time to see it and hear it, I hope. but let's do it again. Okay, that works, kind of. Perhaps you want to make a singularity instead in um, a matter, uh, what's it called? Matter condenser, yeah. But we're not doing that today. <laughs> so this works, kind of, but if I put things in too fast, then sometimes the system can't keep up and, well, in here we have 81, 28 and seems like two stacks got into this one instead. So it's not perfect, it's not, it's not recommended. There are other ways perhaps, but I mean, just to show an example, there are better ways. I also want to mention, before we get into this, bear with me, I just want to keep tell you this, because if you have a problem, this might be the reason. Let's say we format it like this. And we think that just by placing it in here, our cobblestone Need to disconnect this part for now. Let's do it again. We take one part here and place it. We get 64 cobblestone. They are in here. Everything is nice and works perfectly. But let's say we have them in a different order. And even though this one is still formatted, they didn't end up in here. So that's a Kind of annoying, um, but 
make sure to either keep your order in their drive or that you have a dedicated drive only for uh, with, with higher priority only for those that are formatted or filtered or whatever you want okay we can remove this because i don't want to have that solution in my network like so and we have nothing in here and we have no cobblestone so now let's do it in the proper way let's go back in here and we can use finally the overflow destruction card place it in here no need to do anything else and now when we place it in here where does it go here in the beginning it will work just as before they're placed in here and kind of a giveaway on the name but now when we start to import everything and we reach the 8000 the overflow card will kick in and just destroy everything is that enough Okay, now we are kind of full. Place the last ones. And now we have the 8 one, 28. This one is full and nothing goes in here. It's easy, you have full control. As long as you get it in the correct order, as I showed you before, then no more cobblestone that will flood your system. Okay, so that's about it for the overflow destruction. Let's uh, also go through the equal distribution card. It has um, standalone. I haven't been able to use it for something very interesting, but let me demonstrate how it works. Let's take this cell it's empty no upgrades we have formatted it for planks and cobblestone the equal distribution will make sure that when we place things in here you can see we get 64 and 64 if i start to flood the system like this with only one type and not the other the card will make sure that it will distribute or reserve this space for each item in uh, so if you have two items it will be half of the storage reserved for each so when we reach something like 4000 then this cell will be full Okay, I forgot to insert the card itself. Equal distribution card. Now it's inserted. Now it, <laughs> now it works. So now we can insert it. And now when we place our items in here, we still we will still get them in the system. But 4032 and 4096 so that last stack ended up in the second drive but the upgrade card reserved the space for the planks we could have have a half each of course then you can have this set up in a system like this and then make sure that everything else is destroyed but we have half each in in this one in case we want to access it from some other way or direction or place or whatever but I think it shines best if combined with the overflow destruction card. So we have one of each. And now when we insert more cobblestone, 
it will be destroyed. But the planks will keep coming. So now we can just flood it with these. And then again, when both planks and cobblestones are, uh, has filled it this cell, half each, then the rest will be destroyed. So quite simple to implement and use and uh, set up. And I hope you can find more interesting uses of these uh, cards. Please uh, make sure to let me know and uh, leave your solutions in the comments. Anyway, that's it for today. And uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one. So thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.